Welcome to our lecture online. Now that we understand how to use integrating factors, let's do a problem from the start to the finish. Here we have a differential equation, y dx plus 2x dy equals 0. We're suspecting that it's not an exact equation. Let's check real quick to see if it is. And if it's not an exact equation, we'll find the in integrating factor so that we can find it or we can make it an exact equation and then find the solution. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to say the partial of m with respect to y is equal to the partial with respect to y of this quantity right here of y, which is equal to 1. And the partial of n with respect to x is equal to the partial with respect to x of this quantity right here, which is 2x, which is equal to 2. And of course, 1 is not equal to 2, so therefore not exact. So now we have to find an integrating factor. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by a general integrating factor, x to the m times y to the n. So we're going to set let f equal x to the m and y to the n, and all we have to do is find the appropriate m and n, so we find the appropriate integrating factor. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have um, x to the m times y to the n, multiply times y dx plus 2x dy and that should still equal zero because when you multiply zero by anything you still get zero. All right so this becomes on the, the right on the left side we get x to the m y to the n plus one times dx plus two times x to the m plus one y to the n dx or oh, dy I should say equals zero. So now we're going to take the partial of m and the partial of n and set it equal to each other to find the exponents. So the partial of m with respect to, in this case, to y is equal to the partial with respect to y of the quantity x to the m times y to the n plus 1. Notice in this case x is a constant, so this is equal to n plus 1 times x to the m y to the my exponent minus 1. All right, so the partial of n with respect to x is equal to the partial with respect to x of the quantity right here, which is 2x to the m plus 1 y to the n. And of course, in this case, y will be a constant. And so we have 2 times m plus 1 times x to the minus, uh, exponent minus 1 y to the n. All right, so now, of course, if this is to be exact, these two have to be equal to each other, so these two must be equal, and so therefore, we have x to the m, y to the n, x to the m, y to the n, that means n plus 1 must equal 2 times m plus 1. So we can say that n plus 1 must equal 2 times m plus 1. All right, simplifying this a little bit, we have n plus 1 is equal to 2m plus 2. 2, subtract the 1 from both sides, so we said n is equal to 2m plus 1. All right, so remember that m is the exponent of x, n is the exponent of y. So if, let's circle that, so there's the relationship, if m is equal to 0, then we know that n is equal to 1, if m is equal to 1, then you know that n is equal to 3, if m is equal to 2, then n is equal to 5, and so forth. If m is equal to negative 1, then n is equal to negative 1. All right, so let's use the integrating factor that appears to be the easiest one to use. Let's go ahead and use this relationship, which means that the integrating factor is equal to x to the 0 power and y to the first power, which is simply equal to y. That becomes our integrating factor. So what we're going to do now is take our equation and multiply both sides by the integrating factor y. So y times y dx plus 2x dy is equal to 0, or y squared dx plus 2xy dy is equal to 0. Check in to make sure that this is correct and we, still, we now have an exact equation, we're going, going to take the partial with respect to y of this quantity right here, which is y squared is equal to 2y, and the partial with respect to x of this quantity right here, which is 2xy, 
Notice that 2y are the constants, x is the variable. This is equal to, uh, let's see here, 2y. Notice that they're equal to each other, so therefore we now have an exact equation. We can now find the solution by realizing that the, that, uh, the partial of u with respect to x is equal to m. That comes out of the definition right here. There, okay? And therefore we can say that the partial of u is equal to m times the partial of x, or we can say that u is equal to the integral of m times the partial of x, plus, of course, a function of y, since in this case y is a constant, so the, the constant, when, constant of integration can also be a function of y. So therefore, we can say that u is equal to the integral of m, m is right here, y squared, times the partial of x, plus the function of y, Notice here that um, x is the constant, uh, means the variable, y is the constant, so this will become equal to xy squared plus some function of y. All right, we're going to have to do the same for the other one. So u can also be considered to be the integral of n times delta y plus a function of x, which is equal to the integral of n is of course here 2xy, so 2xy times the partial of y, meaning that y here is the variable, x is the constant, and uh, let's see here, plus some function of x, and so that will be equal to, uh, that will be 2xy squared divided by the new exponent plus some function of x. Of course, the two cancel out, and notice that we have xy squared plus a function of y, xy squared plus a function of x, which means the function of x and the function of y must be equal, must be equal to a constant. Therefore, we can say that u is equal to xy squared. Let's come over here. So u is equal to xy squared. And of course, since u is a constant, we can then say that uh, xy squared equals a constant. And that would be the solution to this particular differential equation. And that's how we do that.